finally got new trainers. This is gonna be a hair up kind of video. <laughs> Unbox some new trainers with me. Hey guys, it's Lucy and this week I am unboxing some new trainers. I've not opened them, I've saved them for this video. I've had them sat around for like three days. We have Storm with us, sat on the floor. <laughs> I'm really excited to rip these open. But before I do, I just want to say a big hello. If you have been before, come on in, take a seat, shove your hair up. <laughs> We've got some new trainers to look at. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Lucy. I have been on a running and weight loss journey since February, 2020. I started my journey at 230 pounds, unable to run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I had a look online to try and find someone who had been in my position and ended up doing the things that I thought was unthinkable. I needed to see someone who looked like me doing the hard things that I wanted to do. I wanted to find someone who could 100% relate to everything I was going through because I felt like it was harder for me than anybody else. I don't want anyone else to feel that way. And to cut a long story short, I've lost a lot of weight, I've run a lot of miles, and I have decided to become that YouTuber that I needed to see way back then. So if this is the kind of content that you think you need, or you're just going to enjoy, or you're just nosy to see what these trainers are like, come along, hit the subscribe button, become a virtual running buddy. I have just hit over 6,000 virtual running buddies and it completely blows my mind. I'm just so happy that my channel has found you guys. You guys are the best. Anyway, let's open this up, shall we? Right, so here is the box. Hopefully I do this clean because, you know, that'll be satisfying. That was fairly clean. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> In a previous video, I asked you guys what was the trail running shoes that you've been wearing. These are actually not trail shoes. I've purchased some new road shoes. So I've actually gone against everything I spoke about <laughs> before. Here is paperwork. And you'll know from the title... I purchased a pair of Hoka's. I've been wanting to try this brand for quite a while now. My previous running trainers, I had two New Balance and one Ultra. Because I'm still, I still feel like I'm like new to this stuff, I just want to try it all out. It's like I'm back in the day, I would never have dreamt that I would have spent money on Hoka running trainers. I wouldn't have even known who they were but still I would never have dreamt that I would have bought these or even been able to try them out because I wouldn't have felt like I was worthy of them I wasn't a runner when really all you need to do buy the trainers that you want to try put them on run in them because you are a runner <laughs> of course you are if you run you're a runner right let's open these up I'm really excited and also I'm going to be taking Storm with me on this run and um he's excited as well <laughs> the pair that I got is the Clifton 9 and I got them in a wide. Oh, they're quite light. Wow. Okay. These are very girly, aren't they? There wasn't many colours left on the website because I specifically needed a size 7 and I've also got a wide because my previous trainers, the Ultras, they were wide fitting and they were so unbelievably comfortable. I think if I can find any trainer in a wide, then I will always go for the wide. So this is the test. This is the Clifton 9, Hoka Clifton 9. And they were £130. And I got them in the lilac and it's like a baby turquoise, isn't it? It's very light and a baby blue. These are the girliest trainers I've had so far. Um, they are not going to be this clean <laughs> for very long. Especially there's a bit of a muddy route that I'm going to be taking Storm on pretty early on in this run. So... We'll see how they hold up on that run. I might have to tiptoe my way around that bit. Honestly, they just look so clean and smart. And who else smells their trainers? <laughs> there isn't a strong trainer smell, which is disappointing. I love the smell of new trainers. Here we go, guys, my new running shoes. They feel quite light and it's really hard to tell just looking at them, but they look very similar to my previous ones. I believe these are a neutral slash balance shoe and that is what i was running in before so these are all the little things that i was looking out for when purchasing these trainers get these on 
and we'll get the dog and we'll go for a run. I've got like quite a lot, quite a few bruises on my legs. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess that's still the remnants of moving house. Hello you. Do you like my new trainers? Right, let's try these on. Feel very roomy. Um, Storm is patiently waiting, as you can see. I'm gonna have to really tighten these up. But so far, so good. Storm! I'm gonna judge this really poorly. So I'll probably end up having to readjust this when I'm out. You don't wanna do that when you've got an excited husky. So I've gotta get this right. Does it look good? Yes, don't worry, I will get the other one on. Don't worry, we're going. But so far, right, now Storm's gonna be running around. We feel okay. They feel okay. I hope they're tight enough. They feel very comfortable so far. Right. That is the first mile done in my new hogas. So far they feel so good, really comfortable. I feel like I've already worn them in, they're that comfortable. You're probably thinking, calm down Lucy, it's been one mile. Not even 10 minutes of running in those trainers. And you're right, I'm not gonna give my final opinion on them after 10 minutes. But this is a bit of an incline. <laughs> but one mile in, so far so good. I wanted to stick to paths, but the paths are leading to this. And new trainers, you know? <laughs> Storm's enjoying a bit of a rest. It is warmer than it looks. Poor thing. I just thought I'd give you that little update. <laughs> Let's crack on. Just had to drop Storm home. Feel like he was really struggling. I, I think it's hotter than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Bless him. Managed about half an hour of running and I think that was good enough for him. I don't know why he wasn't feeling it today, but sometimes, sometimes he's like that. But I'm gonna go out and get a little bit more done and I'll give you my review on the trainers when I get back. I'm back now. <laughs> I did five and a quarter miles in like 54 minutes, I think it was in the end. So after dropping Storm off, I just did a little bit more around the roads. I did get my trainers dirty, unfortunately, in some bits. Not too bad, but you know, I've broken the seal now. It really doesn't matter. I had a previous run with new trainers 
I think it was my last ones, and Matt, Matt, <laughs> not Matt, <laughs> and Storm um, stood on them with muddy paws, and I had a muddy paw print right at the top of my trainer. So at least that didn't happen today. <laughs> it could have done. I absolutely love these trainers i honestly they are so comfy i think it's because you live and you learn don't you as time's gone on instead of me just buying trainers because they're the ones that matt recommended for me i've evolved and realized what i need if you're unsure about what trainer you think you need go and find a run-in store and they will have people there that will be able to help you but i know that takes sometimes a lot of courage to do that and it took me three years of running before I set foot in a running store so bear that in mind but what I've realized is I've tried a trainer out realized what I loved about it and what I didn't and just try to add that into the new trainer and I think so far I've done really well I've, I've realized I, I need a neutral balance I need a wide fit I need a size seven because I was actually in the wrong size previously I was buying sixes they feel lovely Previous issues I've had with other trainers, down the side, so like here, down the side of my foot there, before I bought wide trainers, they used to ache. My feet and like my toes, they would they would ache on the run and it used to get really sore. And I never really understood why until I realized you can buy <laughs> wide fit. I didn't feel any rubbing. There was no part of this trainer that was annoying. Not one part. I'm so pleased. I went with these, the Hoka Clifton 9. Mm, 10 out of 10 for me. I would recommend these. I think they're brilliant. So let me know in the comments below what you think of my trainers. I love them. What are your favorite trainers? I'm just so nosy and curious to know what everyone else wears. <laughs> I am still in the market for trial ones, but because I've just bought these, I have to give it a little while before I spend more money on trainers <laughs> and if you made it this far into the video well you might as well give it a thumbs up <laughs> i just want to thank you so much for watching i am gonna stretch off have a wash because i look a bit of a state i will see you soon for some more updates bye guys